again with another video. If you're new to this channel, hi, a pleasure to meet you. Thanks for stopping by. I'm a content creator in the gacha community who focuses on animation videos, but I also upload memes, skits, random stuff, and light 2D tutorials here and there. I have a fully animated and voice acted series going on called The Memories Recipe, and I'm currently working on the third episode, which you should definitely stay tuned for. If you're the type of person who enjoys that kind of content, make sure to subscribe and turn that bell on, ring a ding ding so that you won't miss any video from this channel. However, if you're already subscribed to this channel, love you by the way, thanks for sticking around, you might think that it's been a while since I've said that intro. <laughs> and it's also been a while since I've uploaded a tutorial video, so here I am, giving you a new one. You guys have been requesting me to do this specific tutorial for an unhealthy amount of times, and I just kept on refusing to do it back then. But you know what? I think it's about time that I show you how I make my front-facing models. So, in this video, I'll be teaching you how to create a front-facing model base. Keep in mind, base. Which means that there won't be any separation of certain parts, such as the eyes, hair, clothes, etc. As I know that those parts will vary according to the style and customization of the character itself. This is just going to be a plain guide for your OC that you want to make a front-facing model of. So, now that I got that out of the way, I have one more thing to tell you before the video starts. This video is actually brought to you by Swarbox Tech, a company that specializes in innovative controllers for software control in the digital creative field. About almost two years ago, they sent me one of their products, which is the Swarbox Neo, and I absolutely loved it. Whether it be drawing or animation, I was able to get my work done efficiently because of the product. Instead of having to hover over my keyboard to execute specific shortcuts, I have all of the hotkeys and shortcut commands in just the palm of my hand, while just doing subtle movements. This time, they sent me a Bluetooth version of it, which is a Tourbox Elite. The only difference is that it's a Bluetooth version, and it doesn't need a cable to connect it to your computer. You also don't have to worry about charging it because this runs with AA batteries. This is just a pet peeve of mine, but I just can't stand connecting cables because they would just end up so messy and I don't like that, so <laughs> the Bluetooth one is definitely the one for me. But if you're the type of person who would want to use a cable, or if you just don't have any AA batteries, the cable slot, which is USB-C to USB-C, is still there, just in case. I'll be using the Tourbox Elite all throughout the tutorial, so there will be a little tiny camcording of me using the controller on the corner, showing how this affects my workflow while I go on with the process of making a front-facing model base. If you want to get one yourself, make sure to use the link in the description box below, or click on the eye icon on the top right of this video. If you happen to have a tour box already and you're curious about my tour box settings, I will be leaving the ones that I use for Paint Tool Sai and for Live 2D in the description as well. So without further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. Starting off with the programs you need to make the base. Obviously, you will need Gotcha Club because that's the app where you customize your OC. You will also be needing a digital painting software. I'll be using Paint Tool Sci for this tutorial, however, this is applicable for other painting softwares as well, such as Ibis Paint, CSP, Procreate, Photoshop, and more. There are just certain tools that are named differently or have different functions, but for the most part, you can basically apply this whole thing into any digital painting software. Let's start off with launching Gotcha Club and taking screenshots of your base and its necessary parts. Since it's a base, I'll just use this very plain OC for demonstration purposes. If you want the OC code of the same character that I'm using, the offline code is in the description. Firstly, take a screenshot of the whole character. This will be a reference for us. I personally rotate the OC I'm taking a screenshot of horizontally and scale it up as much as I can, just to make sure that the quality of the model isn't compromised. I'll just flip it over when I'm going to import it to my digital painting software. And I also use a plain gray background when doing this, just so that it's way cleaner. Right after that, you will have to take screenshots of the necessary parts of the character. Once we have all of that, let's import it to our software. This is where the tutorial really begins. Like I said, there will be a little recording of my hand using the tour box. 
Here's me testing it a little bit before getting started. Make sure that all of the screenshots are in your file. We're going to be removing the gray background first, so in order to do that, select the layer you're on, then use the wand tool in your program. Click on the background, then just remove it by either clicking on Backspace, Delete, or Control x or Command-X if you're on Mac. Do the same thing for all of the layers. While you're at it, you might as well rearrange the layers and start separating them. I recommend you to put all of the separated limbs in a folder just for organization. Since we're making a front-facing face, we won't be needing the left side of the limbs, since we'll just be duplicating the other side. So you can just delete those parts. Alright, so now we're going to be focusing on making a rough reference for our base. Before we start making a rough reference, I usually do one thing. Whereas I'd make a new layer, and mark out the two corners of the whole canvas. This way, I'll be able to reflect each duplicated part of the model without having to worry about the part being asymmetrical. If you use Paint Tool Sci or any drawing program in PC, this is something you might want to do just to make sure that everything in the model is perfectly symmetrical. Later in the video, you'll be able to see what I mean. However, if you use Ibis Paint, there is a feature of flipping a layer to the other side, so you don't have to do this method. So, let's get started with the making. We'll start off with selecting the head using a selection tool. You can use the rectangular marquee, lasso tool, or a selection pen, whichever you like. Then just go ahead and copy paste it. Now we're going to select roughly half of the face, specifically the part where the ears are. We're going to copy and paste that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hold down control or the command button if you're in Mac. Then select the symmetry guide, the one with the two marks in the corners. Now we're going to transform this and reflect it to the opposite side. Now go back to the original layer and just remove the excess of the other side. Once you did that, you can just merge the layers. And now you have your head base. We'll be doing the same thing for the neck, torso, and hips. If you think that the part is too wide, you can just transform it until it looks about right. To make sure it's still symmetrical, hold down Alt while transforming the part. If you don't like that method, you can try to eyeball it and try centering the part instead. Then just keep doing it until it looks about right. Now you have the neck of your model. You can go ahead and merge that with the head part. Apply the same method to the torso and the hips. That's pretty much all of the parts that need to be centered. As for the arms and legs, we're just going to be copying and pasting the separated parts in the folder that we just set aside. And now your rough reference is done. You can actually stop here, but if you want this to be cleaner, We'll be using the separated parts in the folder. Starting off with the head again. Make sure that the ear part is aligned to the rough reference. That'll still be the same method though. If you have some eyes and facial features merged to the head, you might want to make a separated layer for those first. That'll still be the same method though. Select roughly half of the head again, then copy, paste, and reflect. Now it's looking a lot cleaner. Here, we won't be merging the layers this time, as I want this space to be a PSD. 
just in case if I want to rig it. But if you're not like me and you don't want to rig it, you just want to make things cleaner, then you don't have to apply this method. Same thing with the neck, torso, hips, and limbs. out in making one and if it did i'd appreciate it greatly if you leave a like if you're feeling extra generous you might as well hit the subscribe button and that bell too if you want more of my content feel free to comment on what tutorial video i should do next and to the amr fans watching thank you for being as patient as ever shout out to these amazing people for becoming members of this channel feel free to hang out in the discord server as well where we talk about random stuff gacha related or not i also host podcasts there if you want something to listen to Okay, that's enough of the shameless plugs. Thank you so much for watching, stay amazing, and God bless. Siege out. Yeah.